All right, guys, we're here to talk about a new addition to some of the guns that we've got going on here at VSO. We're switching almost exclusively to the XS Big Dot site. And uh, there's a couple reasons why uh, we are, but if I can uh, start out, uh, you hope that this never happens to you, and I'm sure that it happens to everybody it's in, to some degree, sometime in their life. But um, my vision's starting to degrade. I was, uh, I'm having isolated incidents where I can't see my front sight. Uh, I was squirrel hunting <laughs> this past fall, and I mean, the thing was 25 yards away, and I couldn't see the sights on the front of my 1022. I mean, I was having, now it was low light, but I'm starting to have issues. Well, my friend, I'm a little older than you, and I would love to be able to tell you this is going to get better. It is not. Um, well, that I, I understand that, so I'm going to go ahead and get used to and switch over um, all my guns to the excess sights because, as I said, the vision problems are just now starting. I turned 30 in a month, and uh, it's a little soon. A little soon to be having those issues so if i'm used to them now when my vision really sucks maybe i'll be pretty good with them by that time <laughs> um you also had a recent uh exposure you know i've used the excess sites previously you had a recent exposure to uh the excess sites that was pretty prolific yeah we were together actually yeah. and uh, we were taking a uh building clearing course from uh, james yeager down at tactical response and it was a, a low light no light um class and <clears throat> it was force on force so we had to wear you know masks you know to protect our faces our eyes and um lo and behold my mask steamed up on me um, all of um, the force on force guns at tactical response were outfitted with the excess big dot sights and like i said that was my first experience with the sights um, and you know my initial my initial thought is oh these are big and they look pretty cool i didn't realize how beneficial they were until i was in that situation where my mask started steaming up i literally could not see anything but my sights so that's not a real bad problem to have you know i mean at least you can still see your sights um and i was able to uh stay in the fight you know limited visibility because of steam in my mask but i could still see my big sight on the on the on the front of that handgun and i think that um you know that's a huge takeaway is it's is it is easy to see no matter what right um and that is what they're what they're really going after with uh excess is being able to pick it up quickly because it's big right very fast acquisition and the other thing about it is it does have a tritium bell in the center of it that's oversized as well mm -hmm. and let me tell you what when it's pitch black and you have to throw it up and put it on a target, maybe one-handed. I tell you what, being able to see that big, huge bell and put it in the center of your target at a combat distance, right. um, that really solidified the switch away from any, just about any other side of the market. Really solidified the switch to the XS sites for me. That particular class, like I said, I'd used them previously, but I remember coming around a corner and seeing my uh, my assailant and literally just pressing the gun out, immediately seeing the sight and just squeezing that round off right into him and no issues hitting the targets at all during that class under lots of adrenaline, not being able to see a whole lot of else of what's going on, you can see the sights. Right. And that's a huge comfort when your general adrenaline is jacked through the roof. Well, we, we know that the two greatest components um, of staying alive are movement and seeing your front sight. You've got to be able to get on that front sight and you got to keep moving. But um, I found these sites exceptionally user friendly. Um, in fact, we came out here today to do a little pistol craft. And one of the things that I like to do is um, a, a two shot burst and then one to the head. And it was on that site right now, bam, bam, two in the ombre, one in the brain box. And and uh, I was happy with it, yeah. Yeah, which uh, I think what we're gonna move to now is we're gonna actually go ahead and do some shooting. 
uh, on the range to demonstrate the sights and stuff like that. We're gonna do a couple series on these sights, uh, specifically some low light, no light stuff coming in some future videos. But today we're just gonna do some daylight work, show you guys what we're looking at with the XS sights. Right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> There you go. Third shot was a charm. Well, I was trying to game it because because of the the distance, right? Well, I'll select a uh, a smaller one for myself since I shoot better than you. Yeah, I saw that on the last round. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, half inch stone. 100 yards away. <laughs> Here we go. Got him. I hit the stick. Did you, you hit? No. <laughs> yeah, you did. You I totally, hit the stick. You totally hit the stick. You failed. Dude, that was like that was like five feet off. Like, what the hell was that? Oh yeah. Woo! Oh, walk away. <laughs> Where's that <laughs> mic drop? <laughs> uh, I did take some of the, you could see where the round came in though. Like you could see where it came. And conquered. Yeah, I think uh, I'll take a picture of it later. All right, you ready? Yep. Ah. Nah, you still hit the stick. I'm gonna go smaller, still. It's about right here, right? Yeah, somewhere. Whew, that's really, really thin. <laughs> I don't know about that. Just the left of it. Whoa! All right, hold on. Look yeah, I, 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 I failed. I you chipped failed? It. All right, yeah, look. I chipped the side. Look here. That's it right there. That. That is literally the size of a 9 mil bullet. I'll raise you a 22 bullet. Oh, okay. I'm having a hard time hitting my target with these excess big dot sights. I know. I can't hardly see. Yeah. You know? It's just too big. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's what she said. That's a really little pebble. Yeah, it is. I can't even pick it out from the berm. We were just talking about vision problems. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. How about now? No, oh, you do. Stop it. Stop it. I'm done. <laughs> cool. um, if these sights were inaccurate, you definitely could not put shots on steel at 30 yards. If you can't shoot excess sights, you just can't shoot.